Good morning. Good morning. My name is Dawn Tyler Lee, and I serve as the Deputy Chief of Staff of External Affairs for Mayor Ginther and Chair of the Search for the 34th Chief of the Columbus Division of Police. Before we hear from Mayor Ginther, let me recap the path that leads us to today's announcement. In January, Mayor Ginther announced his plans to conduct a national search. As many of you know, this is the first time Columbus has been able to search outside of the division due to a change in the minimum proposed qualifications for the position of police chief voted on and adopted by the Civil Service Commissioners in December of 2017. In April, the search committee was named and we outlined the search process and timeline. The mayor committed that the process would be thorough, open, transparent, and comprehensive. I am proud to say that we have delivered on that commitment. At the press conference, he stated what he was seeking in the next police chief, and I quote, I'm looking for a change agent who will pursue innovation and excellence in policing, someone who will use the recommendations of the resident-led Safety Advisory Commission as a roadmap to guide the division. I am looking for someone committed to increasing diversity among police officers, aligning how we police with community expectations, and approaching this position as an opportunity to serve and protect every person in every neighborhood. Throughout May and June, we engaged a variety of people in a variety of ways to learn what they wanted to see in our next chief. We attended summer festivals, conducted focus groups, community forums, and distributed surveys. We also went to early morning, mid-shift, and late evening roll calls at, at different police precincts throughout the city to encourage officers to share what they would like to see in their next leader. I'm pleased to share that over 4,000 people were directly engaged. The themes were very clear. The community said they wanted a chief who is fair, honest, open, transparent, and accountable. One who leads with integrity, can lead in a time of crisis, and is committed to work across all communities. A chief who supports de-escalation techniques, community policing, and cultural competence. Next, we released an RFP for a search firm, seeking one with expertise in recruiting candidates for chiefs of police. The firm of Ralph Anderson was hired, and Robert Berg, executive vice president, became our project manager. In August, Robert spent a very full two days on the ground here in Columbus, meeting with a variety of stakeholders, including the search committee, mayor, safety director, city council, restored citizens, those experiencing homelessness, faith, business, and community leaders, safety and security partners from Columbus City Schools, the Columbus Metropolitan Library, the NAACP, the FOP, representatives from immigrant and LGBT communities, and police chiefs from our neighboring jurisdictions. All of this feedback, the surveys, the community meetings, the stakeholder conversations helped shape the job description and inform the type of candidates the search firm recruited both locally and nationally. 36 candidates applied by our October 14th deadline and the search committee reviewed their credentials and selected five to bring for in-person interviews. The committee advanced two finalists who participated in a community forum that was held last month at East High School with several hundred in attendance and more than 1,000 tuning in online. Before I invite Mayor Ginther to the podium, I would like to reintroduce and thank members of the search committee. Unfortunately, their schedules didn't allow them to join us this morning, but they have contributed countless hours to helping shape and support the process. Franklin County Sheriff Dallas Baldwin, Siobhan Boyd Nelson, Dee Devonport, Stephanie Hightower, Reverend Dr. Jeffrey Key, Kenny Ramos, and Pastor Brian Williams, and our ex officio members, Council Member and Safety Chair Mitch Brown, who's joined us this morning and also our director of public safety Ned Pettis who you will hear from shortly. These community leaders have deep roots in our city. I am grateful for the diverse perspectives, experiences, and backgrounds they have contributed to the search and to the search process. Please help me thank them for their service. I am also grateful to all of the community members who participated in this historic search process for our next chief. It has been an honor to serve my community in this capacity. Mayor Ginther, thank you for the opportunity. 
There are many, many city employees who have their fingerprints on this process along with mine, and I don't have time to call them all, but let me just extend a debt of gratitude to all of my city colleagues who help support and lend guidance to this process. And in particular, I have to do a special acknowledgement of my colleague, Doug Murray. If you'll please stand, Doug. Doug has been by my side since January. It has been a thought partner and a tremendous resource throughout this process, and I'm truly grateful. It is now my pleasure to introduce a bold and visionary leader who has a heart for this city and for her people, Mayor Ginther. Good morning. What a great morning here in the city of Columbus. I am uh, so excited to join you uh, here today uh, for what I think is a great announcement to continue our progress and our momentum around changing our division of police and helping it to meet our community's expectations for the future. To Don Tyler Lee and the Search Advisory Committee, uh, I say thank you. Um, this is one of the most important decisions I will make as mayor. And to have someone like Dawn, who has my complete trust and confidence leading this process in partnership with Doug and others, I'm just grateful uh, for her leadership and commitment. To our director, Ned Pettis, to our chairman, uh, Mitch Brown, and to the community as a whole. Um, we wouldn't have been able to have this uh, historic process take place if there wasn't significant and ongoing community engagement. It shows a lot about how passionate our community is about change and making sure that their voices are heard when we were putting forth the, the profile and the job description, the expectations we were looking for, uh, but also offering feedback along the way in so many different uh, ways that they did that. For the first time, we fought for the ability to look outside of the division for a chief. I was committed to finding the best person to serve the community and our officers, whether that person came from outside or inside the division. I sought the advice of trusted advisors, neighborhood, business, community, and faith leaders, civil rights activists, law enforcement professionals, active and retired and peers from across Columbus and the country. What I kept hearing were the words progress, momentum, change. Those words, those themes were driving factors in my decision. It is my pleasure this morning to announce that Tom Quinlan will be the next Columbus Police Chief. As Dawn mentioned, I have said repeatedly that I want a change agent, someone who displayed honesty and integrity, who could make policing more community-minded to meet the needs of our residents. Serving as interim chief, Tom has made solid strides in the right direction, including a complete reorganization of the division, a new mission statement with a cultural shift toward accountability, transparency, and compassion. He disbanded the vice unit and replaced it with PAC police and community together to work more closely with the community on vice-related issues. And under his leadership, our police recruit classes, including the one that started yesterday, are the most diverse that we have had in decades. Tom was vital to the work of the Community Safety Advisory Commission and has started implementation of the recommendations of the Matrix Report that included a review of officer deployment and wellness, and an unflinching look at racism and discrimination within the division. We must continue that momentum. The recommendations we received from Matrix, and the ones expected shortly from the Safety Advisory Commission, lay out my expectations for Chief Quinlan in the coming year. They will serve as a roadmap for him to continue to build stronger relationships with the community, to hold officers accountable for their actions, to ensure our sworn personnel have the training and tools needed to perform their jobs, and to fight racism 
both inside and outside the division. I expect a great deal from Chief Quinlan. Not perfection, but continued progress. And I am confident in his ability to deliver. As I said, I consulted a number of people before making the decision. Many great conversations with folks from all walks of life and perspectives. But one conversation that stood out to me was with Randall Sistrunk, a former deputy director in our Office of Diversity and Inclusion, who's now the director of development with Orange Barrel Media. I was interested in hearing perspectives from folks who had worked closely with Chief Quinlan, both before he was chief and while he served as interim. I wanted to get to what was the heart of this leader? What motivated him? What was he committed to? What was he willing to do when folks were watching and when they weren't? And Randall's insights were incredible, and I invite him to come to the podium and share some of those with you. Randall? Thank you, Mayor. I was honored to be one of the people Mayor Ginther consulted before making his selection for police chief. He wanted to know how Chief Quinlan was in the Harvard Bloomberg City Initiative that we both worked in, on. What I shared with Mayor Ginther was much more than just the relationship that we developed during the Harvard Bloomberg Initiative. By way of background, I grew up in some of the roughest neighborhoods in East Cleveland and Canton, Ohio. My first interaction with the police was the SWAT kicking down my door, taking my parents to prison, and sending me and my siblings to foster care. On multiple occasions as a young adult, I have been mistreated by police officers in my community. These experiences shaped my perspective on law enforcement, and that perspective was not positive all the time. Years later, I was working on a diversity recruitment strategy for the Office of Diversity and Inclusion, and I needed information from CPD. Every time I turned, I was hitting a roadblock. I couldn't get this information. So I sat in a meeting with Deputy Chief Quinlan, and I got the same response, more delays and excuses. So I caught up with him after this meeting, and I told him that if diversity recruitment was a priority for that office, then they would make sure I had everything I needed to be successful. Not only did Chief Quillen apologize, but he made sure that I had what I needed moving forward. And it was at that moment that Chief Quinlan gained my respect. I watched Chief Quinlan make changes, reorganize, and re-energize this division. He has sought my advice and offered guidance on numerous occasions. When Chief Jacobs announced that she would be retiring, I told Chief Quillen I think he should be the next police chief. And I believe that more, even more today. He is compassionate and kind, but more importantly, not afraid to ruffle any feathers, not afraid to go against the status quo. His commitment to the people of Columbus is simple, and it comes from knowing the difference between right and wrong. He has proven to me that there are, in fact, great officers and great leaders working fearlessly, tirelessly every day to keep us safe and treat us fairly while doing so. Tom Quillen and I are about as different as two people can be. I'm tall, he's short. <laughs> I still have hair. <laughs> you get the point. <laughs> but I consider Tom a friend, and it's my pleasure to introduce the next police chief for the city of Columbus, Tom Quillen. Thank you, my friend. Randall has been uh, a good friend of mine for a long time. We've uh, made a lot of accomplishments together, and I thank him for, for introducing me today. Good morning. It is my distinct honor and privilege to humbly stand before you today as our city's next police chief. I want to thank Mayor Ginther and Director Pettis for their confidence in me to lead this great organization. The Columbus Division of Police is blessed with 2,300 men and women who are dedicated to serving Columbus. I am grateful for them and also indebted to them because they are the ones who interact and protect our community every day. With my deepest sincerity, I want to thank everyone who has supported me 
not only during the past 10 months as interim chief, but throughout my entire career. I value the trust you've placed in me, and I appreciate every one of you. We've come a long way during the past year. We've enhanced policing in Columbus with innovative new strategies. We are transforming the organization and redefining our mission and values. We continue to be community focused and service driven while preparing for, responding to, and going beyond the call. The message I deliver today to the Division of Police and to the City of Columbus is this. We've only just begun. We've only just begun to engage our neighborhoods. We've only just begun to nurture enduring relationships with community members, advocates, and our remarkable partner agencies. We've only just begun on a path of progress designed to make Columbus safer, to ensure members of the community feel they have a voice in the service we provide, and to know they can worry more about what they can do for their neighbor rather than what harm their neighbor might do to them. We've only just begun to build a more diverse police agency which must reflect the community we serve. We've only just begun to make the interactions between police officers and the community members more positive and productive. Whether you are a member of the community or one of my division employees, I want to ensure you are treated fairly and with respect. I will not tolerate racism or discrimination. Our work is too important and the lives we impact too precious. The Matrix Consulting Report has given us a great place to start and we also stand ready to receive the findings of the Mayor's Community Safety Advisory Commission. We recognize the need to be flexible in order to meet the community's expectations. We plan to make their recommendations a priority in imagining new ways to provide the community the excellent services it rightly deserves. I'm committed to this process that we have begun. I am dedicated to seeing it through. Help guide me on the path of what we, of what you want policing to be in our community. Let us work together to serve our collective interest in making Columbus not only the 14th largest city, but also America's opportunity city aligned with shared values and respect and with safety for all. Together, we can achieve our goals. Together, we can reduce crime and increase our quality of life. Together, we can define Columbus. I look forward to accomplishing these goals with your support. For today, we've only just begun. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Chief. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to thank Mayor Ginther for the thorough and thoughtful process that has gotten us to this important decision today. I would also like to again recognize Deputy Chief of Staff Dawn Tyler Lee for the incredible job she did in administering this very detailed process from start to finish. I know how hard she worked as I was deeply involved in the process that led us here today. Congratulations to you, Chief Quinlan, on your appointment. While the search for the next police chief was exhaustive, it became clear that Chief Quinlan is what we need at this time as Columbus Police Chief. While his knowledge of this city and of its people is certainly germane, it is his leadership, honesty, and integrity, and his willingness to work with the community he serves that ultimately led to his selection. Luke chapter 12 verse 48 says, For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. With this selection comes a very heavy burden. When I was appointed safety director in 2016, Mayor Ginther charged me with doubling the diversity in our safety forces in the next 10 years. Chief Quinlan will be an integral part of getting this accomplished. 
Racism does exist in our communities as well as in our police department, and it needs to be addressed. We have tasked Chief Quinlan with holding officers accountable in a more transparent manner. Additionally, we will be asking Chief Quinlan to closely follow the blueprint laid out by the Matrix Report. And the Safety Advisory Commission recommendations will help ensure that the Columbus Division of Police is working under the tenets of 21st century policing strategies. Chief Quinlan is the right choice for Columbus, and I look forward to working with you, Chief. Again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Director uh, Pettis. There are a couple of things that uh, Chief Quinlan and I have, have talked about uh, throughout this process and in his time as interim. And I said, uh, similar to me, I may be a city employee, but I don't work for the city. I work for the people of Columbus. He now is our chief, the leader of the Division of Police. But he doesn't work for the division. He works for the people of Columbus. And it's important for us to remember and understand that distinction. One final point I'd like to make, and then we can move on to one-on-one -on -one interviews. I did uh, see uh, Stephanie Hightower, who's president and CEO of the Columbus Urban League, was part of our advisory committee, has joined us. Thank you, Stephanie, uh, to you and your colleagues for all of your service, experience, expertise, and insight. Uh, and I know City Attorney Klein was, was here earlier as well and appreciate him being here in his ongoing partnership. One final make and then we can move on to one-on-one -on -one interviews. Uh, all the speakers will make themselves available to the press here. I know that my decision will not be yan unanimously approved. There is not consensus out there about these two finalists. Believe me, I heard from many folks uh, and sought them out uh, knowing that I would have a variety of opinions. But we have a chief now. And so I ask for the collective community to say a prayer for wisdom, for judgment, for sustainment, for our new chief, that he continued to lead by changing our division to meeting and exceeding our community's expectations. There will be many that fight change, that will stand in the way of reform that will defend the status quo. And so he will need our prayers, our support, and our encouragement. I'm confident that we can all work together to make real and lasting change in the way our division of police serves this community. We can confront and address racism and discrimination where it exists, and we can continue to build safe neighborhoods with strong community police relations. Again, congratulations to our new chief, Tom Quinlan, and I believe two of his daughters are here today uh, to celebrate this with him. And so I uh, want to thank the Quinlan family for supporting uh, the chief through all of his years of service. And in the years ahead, uh, officers uh, don't serve alone. Their families serve along with them. So we want to thank the Quinlan family for sharing uh, the chief with the people of Columbus. Have a great day, everybody.